in a mania race with our very own Helix exclamation PU in chat, please. And I swim fly. It's gonna be so cool if you guys would like to introduce yourselves. Yeah, hi, I'm Helix. That's 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 been said. You, you, you know what I'm about, hopefully. <laughs> I I play the funny ball game. <laughs> So true. Hey everyone, I'm Iceman Fly. I also play the funny ball game. No way. Also, we, we have someone else no here way. who plays a funny ball game. You do. Hello. Plays in the present tense. Hello, my, my, my I'm guess. Peter. I play the uh, the funny ball game in the present tense. I'm playing Supernova. <laughs> he said it. And that's why I'm experienced in being able to talk and not play the funny ball game today, <laughs> which is my job. Look, you're still the world record holder in this category, okay? Yep. Oh, awesome. Let's go. All right. That's even better. <laughs> Qualifications validated. Yep. Let's go. That's why I'm here. That's hype. <laughs> Consider myself a cameo. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Peter's the world record holder. I am second place. Swimfly is third place, actually. So we've got all the top three here. Um, Swimfly and I, of course, are racing through story mode. I'm going to play this Tails because I want to. Um, here's story mode. This is 100 levels, 10 worlds, 10 levels each. These are all stages from Super Monkey Ball 2, but uh, you may have seen some of them if you caught, actually, all of them, if you caught the 300 stages run at the beginning of day one of Marvel Marathon. Actually, World 10 was not in that, so you are getting 10 brand new stages. But the physics of this game are a little different, so not all the strands are going to be exactly the same. Uh, Swimfly, anything I've missed before we get going? Uh, yeah, really quickly, I do want to mention that we are using a few mods. Um, as a speedrun community, we decided that a few quality of life mods were going to be allowed for runs um, in different forms. So we have, I believe we're both using UI enhancements and the true ball customizer. Normally characters outside of the base six cannot have their ball, uh, their ball color, pattern, whatever, customize. Uh, this mod, I made it myself, allows you to customize any of their uh, ball colors, patterns, use anything you want, even ones outside of the game, which you'll see which ones we're using. Um, and then we're also using UI enhancements, which uh, just adds a few quality of life things to the UI, such as when you tap out of the game, it keeps the audio going. Um, it it optimizes the pause screen a little bit to be a little bit easier to see the timer, makes uh, makes things more visible than the normal yellow background with bananas on it. And then one big thing that we are using is the practice mod. Normally this run this mod isn't allowed for RTAs, but for reasons we'll explain as we get into the run, we're gonna allow it here just for a little more of a showcase. Uh, I think that's everything. I think so. I think you're right. Before we get um, started, I just wanted to say that if I was playing, I'd be using the character Swezo. I, I uh, real? just want to make sure that Swezo names are represented here today. Was of course being one of the three D-listed DLC characters. Uh, D-listed. <laughs> well, yeah, you can't uh, exclusive. You can't Swazzle purchase melted them anymore. Away with Super Mario 3D All Stars. You can't purchase no. Morgana, Hello Kitty, or Swezo. They all melted away. I use Hello Kitty in this game, so that's my representation. Swezo got I mean, melted down into chocolate ice cream and served in ice cream establishments all across the West. That's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sega really is just the worst. I <laughs> fear. This does not bode well for us getting copies of Banana Rumble. <laughs> I haven't said I anything. <laughs> I haven't said anything. Anyway, let's hop right yeah, into it. Yeah, by association. We should probably sure. start our speed run. <laughs> <We should. laughs> oh, yeah, th there's a race going on. This isn't there's just a, a podcast. supposed to happen. So, <laughs> on go. <clears throat> Three, two, one, go. What controls? Get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you did, you control, control. Control. did you restart your game, or did you go to a different game mode or something? Oh, it's because I was I was playing practice mode and not story mode when I was practicing. I guess that oh, that'd do it. That's that is a little bit of control. additional time loss right at the beginning of the run for the player who did not uh, look at the controls before the run started. Unlucky. I had, I had to be reminded how to play. Um, Sometimes you gotta check it on that every now and then. Funny yeah, if you want to talk about how to play. Well, I was gonna say to remind you all how to play. <laughs> um, you can move. The joystick to control. Technically, you're not controlling the monkey or the stage. You are controlling the tilt of gravity. Um, but yeah, that's you know basic gist of Super Monkey Ball. Uh, cardinal directions are the strongest. This is unlike the original Monkey Ball games where diagonals are the strongest. But in this game, if you can hold directly up, you want to. That is the strongest input, fastest way to get pretty much anywhere. 
Uh, there are camera controls in this game with the right stick. I'm using a GameCube controller, so that is the C stick for me. Same here. And Doing the that'll same be thing. useful. You're actually seeing me pan the camera down a lot already. I'm sure Swimfly would love to talk more about that a bit later. Oh, yeah? Uh, but yeah, camera controls do come into play quite a bit. The physics in this game, like I mentioned, are a bit different. Camera controls are extremely different. This game does feel quite different from the originals. And, you know, normally you'd see stuff like boosting and wall boosting in the original games, but not not this time. On, on stages like conveyors, the fastest thing in this game is to just hold up. <laughs> Noticing actually a lot of uh, a lot of really really cool uh, manual camera movement uh, from Swimfly here. Little yeah, bits of delicate I stick love using adjustments it. <laughs> in order to in order to optimize holding up. Yep, I love using the manual camera in this game. It's really nice, and it comes in it comes into play a lot more prevalently for some strategies later in the run. Um, yeah. There's one primary technique. I guess we can talk about it now because there really isn't much going on for the rest of World War. We should mention the hardest level of. World 1, windy slide that we're both oh, on right now. Yep. Keep an eye out, it's transferred. Wow, okay. I'm surprised I made that work. That was a really janky hit. Oh, we both nailed it. Let's go. Let's go. I was about to say, yeah. Alright, you say the thing you were going to talk about. Y'all are just doing the same thing, but like three seconds apart. So in my ear, it just sounds like I have double game audio. <laughs> yeah, I was going to just start talking about Camlock because we don't really have much else to talk about right now because World 1 is kind of mm. slow and we have a 30 second level coming up that's basically just an auto scroller. Yeah. Um, Camlock in this game refers to the concept of using the right stick. If you hold it perfectly down as you land, you can see it right now, the camera will not move from behind the player. So you can use that to line up certain um, texture cues. You can use that just to line up a little bit easier on like, wire stages where the stage is kind of thin. Um, it's a really useful technique, and you'll see it really come into play on, uh, I believe it's 2-5 Bumpy Check. Yes, 2-5. I tend to rely on it a little more than Helix does, just because I'm, I love the manual camera in this game and using it pretty much every chance I get. Um, but there are some <laughs> strategies that just like have to use it because when it does change physics. When first getting into this game, the, discovering how the manual camera worked was one of the most amazing discoveries ever. It was sort of like, if this game is like a remake of the original games, which are extremely well made, very polished, great engines, you know, mm. like what's 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 the difference? You know, why would I choose one game over the other? And then like suddenly you realize that there's a way using the manual camera, which didn't exist in the originals, to turn the game from a regular monkey ball game to like a top down, like like marble style game. Completely changes some strats, makes them more consistent and reliable than they would have been otherwise. It's an absurd tech that you can use in so many places. Yep. It was really cool. But Animania has got a couple examples of things like that, just things that are completely exclusive to this game, not in any other Monkey Ball game, and that's what makes it really special for me. I love the hold up stages because they get to be my water breaks, which means I drink a lot of water when I run this game. <laughs> we stay hydrated, mm -hmm. that's all I'm saying. Nothing could be a proper Monkey Ball category without hydration stages. I just didn't get on the wall on coaster. That's rare. That's no, you were floored there. <laughs> yeah, you know, I got completely <laughs> the opposite of wall. <laughs> yeah. Still made it work though by the looks of things. Um, kinda. It's pretty slow. <laughs> I lost like four seconds though. All right, so now here's bumpy check. You're gonna see that I'm cam locking to try to stay on the outer edge and avoid getting very high clips to just get straight to the end there. It's so cool, it just makes it easier to see the rail that's below you too, yeah. you know, just to make sure, like, oh, precision-wise. Makes it much the easier to stay still. is awesome. Well, it's a little dangerous. Just like in the original game, the collision on this stage is a bit whack, so... You go just barely too fast and you can just randomly get launched in the air. Gravity Slider is also kind of a scary stage because goalposts in this game are not our friend, and even when we think we might be completely centered about to just perfectly hit the goal tape, sometimes the goalpost will say no. Luckily, it doesn't seem like either of us got owned. No, no I didn't get owned, thankfully. Right now is Inchworm's really important and really cool looking strat here. Swim awesome by strat. three different ways that we do it. Very similar strats from both of us, but different ways to accomplish it. Prime example of I like him walking. <laughs> And I don't as much, but we both hit it. Uh, totalitarianism now. Two for two. Like Swimfly is getting it. Yep. This is a really cool strat. I like this one a lot. 
I'm so glad there's a get collided by the totalitarianism type strat. It's easier than yeah, you yeah. think too, because it's just a neutral input at a certain point. Yep. The up uh, the up and down objects, uh, as is the monkey ball naming tradition for naming objects on the stage, are named after the stage itself. So those rings that are going up and down, those are totalitarianisms. <laughs> it's just true. to be clear. <laughs> yeah. This, this is like universal through like every like monkey ball sub community and everything. Like yes. It's like yeah, you get hit, you get hit by the dribble on dribbles, right? Like <laughs> yeah, there's dribbles on dribbles. You know, there's the. Uh, Getting flung by the organic form. Dribble I was I was way. going to read the stage that Twimfly yeah. was on. <laughs> and it did not say organic form. It said wavy stairs and ball game. So I, I clearly so. I've, I've been I've been gone too long. Yeah. Another another fun fact. Um, asset bundle modification. This is a Unity game. You are allowed to, within reason, uh, modify the game to change like uh, text assets, uh, texture assets, such as the. Uh, the some ball patterns that Helix and I are using. Um, so, just as a, a little bit of a joke for myself, I changed a couple of the names. I think we'll see only one more in this category. I didn't change too many. Like, I only changed you, a few. But I you think set up we'll a trap. Soon. You completely sabotaged my improvised <laughs> bit. I was going to use the stage you're on to continue my 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 examples yeah, of like so how things are you know named after the stage. But well, we have we have something really important going on now because Swimfly is entering dribbles, which is a pause strat and a First load specific strat, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Incredible. No way. Oh, that's incredible. Okay, the party ball banana mini is a lot more gentle than it is in the original games, but the goalpost traded places is the more aggressive oh, and evil okay, version. I owned by the hit. Oh, the there. Ready? I'm surprised. Ugh, like. But th this looks so similar to like the the pause strat that Glock did yesterday. I know, and that, that's what I brought up on hosting. I'm like, wait a minute. Actually. Why does this look so similar to when I just found a banana mania like last week? <laughs> dribble is like consistently an amazing stage in like every version there of the game. It's uh, featured in all okay. the People just hate playing dribble. What is happening? And dribble just loves not being played, apparently. <laughs> Alright, I'll give this one more try before I do the not ridiculous version of this strat. Which is still pretty cool, but slightly less ridiculous. I finally made it through. Uh, just for the record, we did have to use practice mod here. We can talk about first load and second load now to kind of explain oh, why we had to use the I practice mod. Let's go. Got it. <clears throat> Let's go. Um, yeah, sorry. Please continue. <laughs> so first load and second load is essentially the concept of when you first load a stage in Banana Mania, you can see like the, the big text that pops up. It says the category, the world, the stage. Um, all of that is only done on first load. Whereas on second load, you will only see like the the banana trans the the II transition screen that you see between stages, and it will do like a a different transition in. It'll just kind of like spawn in. The camera will be behind the player immediately. Um, that is what is called second load. So because of the difference in the animation timing of like how long it takes to spin in compared to just the spawn in and second try, that's a weird twist and spin. Um, because of that difference in animation, it actually can change the cycles of the stage just a little bit differently, and as well as change the physics. This can cause some minor changes between uh, tries on a specific stage, and dribbles is one of those cases where you have to do that shot on first load. You won't get the right height off the bounce if you do it on second load. Um, I think that's everything with first and second load for the most part. If anybody else think, wants to add on, go ahead. I just wanted to note that it's kind of cool how, like, in regular story mode, where you are not allowed to use the practice mod, the difference between the first load and second load can mean you have to come prepared with two different strats entering a stage, yeah. you know, you gotta prepare for a backup if you die the first time. It sucks. <laughs> Dribbles yeah. especially, like, this, the, there is no comparable second load strat, so often in runs, if you miss that strat on dribbles, you have to exit out all the way to stage select and go back in to get first load again. That's why we're using the practice mod, so we don't have to do that. Yeah. Um, that is, again, pra using the practice mod for that is not allowed in actual PB attempts. We're only doing it because of the marathon style showcase. Practice mod is allowed for individual leveling. So if you're going for an individual time on a stage and you need first load for whatever reason, you can use the practice mod for that. Like, mm -hmm. that, is, that is worth mentioning. That is why the practice mod is considered speedrun legal, but again, only for individual levels, not for full categories like we're using it right now. Uh, also, there was a pause strat on dribbles. If you're familiar with how pause strats work in the original game, um, 
they're similar in this game, but the pause menu is less friendly. Like, after you unpause, there's this weird delay before you can, like, start moving again, and it's really annoying. Uh, yeah, not nearly as responsive. Yeah, and also when you pause, it, like, forces this weird neutral input. It's so it's, strange. Oh, oh, the neutral input, I forgot Yeah, that's something that. worth mentioning. No. That's a good point. Yeah, that'll come up later on Block in World 7. Uh, <laughs> but essentially what I'm trying to say is that only one frame pause strats are particularly viable. Doing anything with more than one frame is probably not gonna happen. Yeah, there's only really, there's... like, one example, and even still you hold neutral mm -hmm. between most for the most part, so... Yeah, so pause strats kind of work. They are helpful in, in a few places. You're gonna see a, another pause strat here on coin slots. They're um, much more simplified. Yes. Ready? Go! Launchers is a very infamous stage. I don't think it's well designed. The strat is pretty cool though. I'm gonna make sure to get as much friction as I can on my way up. Well don't fall, don't fall. That, that was a lovely amount of friction. Mm-hmm. I need to Easy waste as little fast. time in the don't air. Fly. As that scared me. Yeah, it scared me too, don't worry. Oh jeez, I just saw the replay on your screen. Yeah, what the heck? I went to the side, I didn't go straight in. Yeah, just, just checking out the right side of the goal. Coin slots is another pause strat. I'm gonna do something here called pause buffering. So despite the quirks of the pause menu, if you are not focused on the game, such as like alt tabbing out, uh worth mentioning that Felix and I are both playing on PC, you alt tab out or like open the start menu on your computer, it will yeah. immediately pause on the next available frame. So I needed to get down to 21 there, so I paused on 25. I could rebuffer twice by opening my start menu quickly and pausing. And by doing that, it would immediately repause on 23, then 21, and give me the frame that I wanted to be strat. That was such an amazing discovery, the like built-in macro that this game has for one frame pause buffers. Yeah, it, it really <laughs> helps with pause strats. If you ever if you ever did not want to do the whole like quick like B plus start thing in the original Monkey Ball games to pause, you know? Yeah. <laughs> as long as you want a neutral input, Banana Mania lets you it's, do it. Yep. It's also really very, very difficult to do one frame buffers in this game because of the weird delay when unpausing. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's it wouldn't so be possible, it's true. Yeah. Yeah, like, touch and roll has that delay, so, like, there aren't many pause strats that are super useful. Just because, like, pausing takes so long, it's, like, hard to, like, buffer, like, single frames. Okay, I gotta be honest, I've been playing out of my mind. I literally have not died outside of dribbles, and yep. you are still ahead of me. No, I think we, I think we <laughs> both have. I think we're both on the same page. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, I can't really remember a single time where there's been like an actual like divergence well, in the execution of the two you players can't there. Wait, I can't wormhole. No, you can't do that. <laughs> oh, we're full wormhole uh -oh. skip though is gonna be a massive wow. moment. That's here. that's a time save. For anyone who knows this game, that is not a consistent strat. I mean there's like setups that make it better, but that strat is not consistent. We have not found a 100% guaranteed what? way to do it. And it's hard to say it. for sure if a strat wild. not consistent right now, based on the sample size of two I'm seeing here. <laughs> That's nuts. I'm never getting this in, in a PB like pace run ever, I promise you. Yeah, <laughs> like it doesn't happen. But the fact we both got it. Oh uh, we're going to need a third person to put some video on the right. stream of them not getting it to prove that that strat actually is really, really Let me load up the game. Let's go. Come on. I, I can hit it. I've hit it before. Yeah, uh, why would you hit it now, though, is the question. Real. <laughs> Let's not talk about that, okay? I've hit it before, okay? <laughs> I can't believe we both hit that. Right, coming up is bead screen, another really weird strategy. Uh, okay, that is I so strange, isn't it? <laughs> Something's never changed between Monkey Ball 2 and How does that work Monkey so consistently, Ball honestly? I, it doesn't. I, I don't know if I've seen that one before. When was that discovered? That one was relatively new. I think it might have been after you stopped. Helix discovered it. I think I found that but, one a year ago. How did, what did you do? Did you just decide you wanted to walk off the edge instead of doing any of the threats that already existed? Okay, I, it wasn't perfectly in, but we both hit that too. Yeah. We both I, went through. I didn't go straight in the goal. I was very close. This is crazy. <laughs> We're both on world record pace. It's invalid because we use practice. Oh, I was going to say invalid run, by the way. Invalid run. We're both on invalid world record pace. <laughs> if, it were, like, if it weren't for I dribbles, because with the time lost to dribbles, we'd probably be out of world record. But yes, otherwise, this is basically a perfect run for both of us. As the unbiased world record holder, I wouldn't have two invalid world record runs any other way. Or valid, <laughs> or ones that beat me. <laughs> By being valid. You're safe for another day, Peter. <laughs> That's right. Although yeah. it seems like my days are numbered if these players are playing after today, because today I'm kind of, my socks are rocked. 
I'll, I'll say it, and I'll say it twice. My socks are rocked. Elix and I kind of agreed that we were going to make one last push before Banana Rumble comes out, which is going to be the newest Monkey Ball game. We kind of agreed that we wanted to make one last push to try and update and modernize the world record just a little bit with the updated <laughs> strats before the new game comes out. There better be some switch storage in World 10, though. There will be. Oh, there will be. There okay. Will be. We'll get there. Because I, I, I may not be an updating, modernizing, but that also demodernizes. That's, why, that's one of my favorite parts about that world record. I don't think it's one of my favorite parts about the run. I don't think we're gonna do it on gimmick, but that's fair. Invisible. It doesn't actually even save time on average. You have to like yeah, yeah. unless you get it <laughs> unless you get it quick, it's not worth it. It's very small that time save the gimmick. Pause we're entering world oh, six, and I've been talking about how well we've been playing so far, but this is where the run starts getting pretty difficult. That was an amazing save on Swimfly screen. I'm going to and die. I'm speaking too early, probably. Uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't die saying. yet. That's Wait, you're still alive? I'm, I'm, still 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 I'm still alive. I'm hanging in there. This is the most combination I've seen Aww. in the region. <laughs> that is the first death outside of Gerbils between the two of us. The Equalizer? The Equalizer? Oh, crap. There no, we go. I died too. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> not, 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 hey, I died was way not as long of a death. I wanted to see how long I could live. <laughs> I was fully committed to just see how long it would that take. That sounded me. kind of beautiful and inspiring, you know? This isn't about how long your death is, but about how long you choose to live, you know? <laughs> all, all I'm saying is that Elix is probably tied with Swimflight at this point because of the the learning how to play at the very beginning. Yeah. Smile. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you have to subtract like 30 seconds for that, I think. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah it, it's closer to like, like four minutes. Four minutes. You know, yeah, it's, like, a, it's a really long menu. Yeah. If you can believe it, this is actually my first time playing the game. <laughs> I, I had to learn how to play first. The fact that we sat there reading the how to play for four minutes at the beginning of the run, and we don't even remember uh, that now, because now awesome. is awesome. The rest of the run has been as awesome. Aww. I honestly expected the party ball to just like kind of cradle, cradle, cradle you for a second. And, like, it, it does yeah. that. You went to the, it does that. Yeah, usually the party ball is more motherly than that, honestly. That was kind of cold. Yeah. I'm sure you saw it in the original games, but the party better. ball is not yeah. friendly. In this game, it is surprisingly <laughs> friendly, and I swear. Thank you. That was scary. I pushed that a little bit too much. Uh, right. No, 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 red I wire. Fell. You know what? Fine. I'm sure, red wire. Red bull wire? Let's go. Okay, Ooh. if you're giving it one shot, I will give it one okay, shot. Okay, I'm giving it one better shot. That was not good. Ooh, that'll be two Wait, average two. shots if we average out the values. Aw, oh, alright. I made it halfway. I give up. You're better at that than me. Straight up. Got it. There it is. Always feel like with the, with the red bull tears. <laughs> you're better than me. I, I fully concede. <laughs> Honestly, you, you gotta pick a different stage swim fly to, yeah, to, to, to swag out against I, 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 I got one. Tears, Red Bull. Don't worry, I have one. Okay, I didn't cool. I to get it. There's a, there's a, a stretch he doesn't do yet, I got this. What is the run? I would complete this belief. I, this run this is, is so silly. How does that compare speed wise? I'm oh, sure, but I died in narrow peaks. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I'm I mean, it's back. really narrow, like the peaks. Have you seen how thin those wires are? I died twice to narrow peaks. I hate Ooh, this. Okay, I died to it too. Don't You're worry. You're dying to it too. Oh my god, I hate the strat. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we dying to narrow peaks? Okay, I, I, I was just talking about how narrow those peaks were. We get through it at the same time. And then time. we both get it at the same time. This this race this is, is unreal. This is so awesome. I'm having such a good time. Ready? I'm, <sighs> my nerves are ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. Hopping too early. Yes. Uh, got it. There we go. We live well. <clears throat> I need to calm down. This run is absurd. Ready? Yeah, I think you had to buff out the uh, feelings you would have felt after the tier situation on there. Yeah, that's a second level, there. by the way. You're, you're right. Yeah. Didn't hit the button. Oh, nah, that's a button mode. Back to go. Yeah, buttons are not the best in this game. It just kind of happens sometimes. Same thing happens in the original Monkey Ball 2 for GameCube. Not a problem unique to this game, unfortunately. The more things change, the more things change. Okay, uh -oh. okay, Sure, dude. Oh, now I'm on the like annoying cycle too. This is, Don't worry, I'm joining you. I'll just play it safe. I'll just play it safe. I probably should have retried with practice mod, but I, I forgot I was using it until now. I'm just playing it super safe. We'll get whatever, like 45. Fine. Fine. <clears throat> it is amazing how like synchronized we are though this is unbelievable <laughs> but i mean it's it could diverge at any point worlds six seven eight are all very difficult yeah probably the hardest section of the run 
I love this world of Banana Mania. It looks really pretty. It looks so pretty. I love this theme so much. Yeah, and the song too. Yeah. yeah. The graphics in this game are just really good. I'm using the original soundtrack, by the way. What, what soundtrack oh, are you using? I'm using one? the original SMP2. Okay. Oh, so we're on the same one. Dang. One, well, the Banana Mania of all the remixes, World 7 is definitely the one I like the most. It's so fun. I like the, I like the World 6 remix. Yeah. That one's pretty hyped, too. Six it's very original. Too. really good to me. I like World yeah, I they like were really top any original with the World 6 remix. I like World 7 a lot. I also like uh, <laughs> that was SMB1 talking about. Space a lot, and SMB1... <laughs> Uh, I was saying, no. I was I was saying in the in the in the pre live. No, oh. I was saying in the in the pre live lobby, you know. Oh, I just felt the sneeze of like definitely not gonna be here for like ten minutes or so. <laughs> it did eventually show up, but I, I promised it. You never caught up again because I hit the pause strike. I already sneezed, but I was muted, so. <laughs> I was too caught up in the euphoria of the sneeze to remember to mute. That's fair. Wow, that was a really fast domino on my end. But that's why Limey's the host, and I'm the host that means the most. Wow. I thought you were going to say I'm the Peter, and I was going to say I'm Peter, but I'm going to say I'm, <laughs> I'm Peter. Peter. I thought you were going to say I'm the Peter as well, and I was, I was really like, oh, I'm Peter. <laughs> everyone was everyone, right. Everyone already had my bit figured out for me. <laughs> I didn't even have an idea yeah, where that this was going. This has been in the lab for, for years. <laughs> By the way, to talk about the <laughs> run briefly again, this is another example of using camera inputs to just kind of do minute changes there on that wire on Civ. We just got the exact same IGT on the stage. That's awesome. <laughs> all right, all right, frame perfect. Block is going to be another pause strat. This is going to be one that takes advantage of that neutral input that Helix talked about on the, uh, the pause frame. So when you pause, you get that brief neutral input. Oh, it's just Huge. like the original. Look at that. Yeah, Here's it, it skip, might have looked like we were blocks. holding up the whole time, which we were, yeah. but that works because that pause forces the neutral input for like one frame. It's really funny how that works out so nicely. And it's necessary because that stage just sucks to play casually. Yep. <laughs> I can lie, I did I'm like it casually. I'm the only Monkey Ball runner who doesn't mind playing that level mostly like indented without like, with like some small skips just because like I'm used to doing it for touch and roll. <laughs> yeah, I liked it. Oh, okay. I got a weird bounce there on double spiral and it really scared me. I thought I was going to hold this. Yeah, I got scared at the end of double spiral as I, well. It's really stressful because you lose 20 seconds if you it's... die like, like that. The auto scroller. Okay, thanks. Hierarchy, what? Ready? Hierarchy? Hierarchy? That reminds me really of this really funny time that the speedrunner Glock SB created a strat on Hierarchy where you go diagonally through the sandwich. And I suggested that it should be called Diarchy. And I don't think he liked that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I guess because it implies maybe you die a lot to it when you say something like Diarchy, but I thought it was a pretty good strat name. Diarchy is like an it. awesome name. It's an awesome name. <laughs> is fine. I, I, I think Glock is in the wrong, unfortunately, here. Uh, that's what I was saying back then, too, but I, I you know, I, I let it, I dropped it. Right. Shout outs to Quick Turn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, shout outs to the, the hold up strat. <laughs> Who's to Quick Turn right now? <laughs> Let's go. Do you think they intentionally made sure the holdup still worked? Yes, the, the absolutely. Remake? They had to. They checked yes. the cycles, they were like, okay, we gotta make sure you can still just hold up I mean, on it's it. a way of knowing the physics are, like, <laughs> similar enough. Mm hmm Yes. Emphasis on the yeah, that's a hold-up strat. That's a hold-up strat in, um... In Monkey Ball 2 as well. Which you would have seen so unfortunate. in that in the deluxe and SME2 run had I not sabotaged Glock. <laughs> On the same day they were doing the uh, the uh, the chaos uh, you know patch to make chaos different in the non original stage mode version of chaos they were figuring they should change the quick turn cycles too Yo. to make sure the hold up wouldn't work. <laughs> that was a deep cut. I fell off right <laughs> at the end of this. <laughs> Yeah, World 8, again, another pretty hard world. I'm just still really mad that, like, chaos is in there. The original stage mode? We all I think it's pronounced Chaos. Every mode except for Deluxe mode. Like a reference <laughs> to Sonic. <laughs> Alright, here's Entangled. I didn't want to correct you in front of, like, the entire audience, but I, I figured you'd be more embarrassed if you said it again later, so... I'm gonna wait until about... I-53, and then go. That might have been a little early. Bounce off this, and hopefully land in the goal. Beautiful. That goal entry was oddly satisfying. You kind of got, like, blended a little bit, like, right right, right in that in that party ball zone. There was confetti everywhere. It was kind of gross. Okay. Nice. I'll take a swim. Thank you. 
out of the corner of my eye. Ah, oh, nice side goal. Ew. A side goal. I did that on purpose. That strat saves like 0.2 seconds. <laughs> Here's Vortex. Um, there's, there is a pause strat here. I hate it. I don't find it reliable. So I found this strat instead. Cool. I was really concerned I was going to fall off before getting to the platform. That was a cool alternative strat. That's a cool strat. It's hard, <laughs> but I like it. it. It feels way more consistent to me than that pause strat. That swim mm. fly is about the so called unreliable pause strat oh, works just, when seen no first evidence. try on the stream. I just am curious myself right? by hitting up first bumper on a warp. Ah, it happens. Like, surprisingly often for me. It does happen. So, the warp, you know, the the the, uh, the, the titular warp of the warp stage is not the bumper, because he said the warp bumper. So, so the warp must be like the actual plant. I was thinking of the, the warp was like the. the the mechanism, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, no, I don't. It's like the thingamajig. Oh, okay, never mind, I get it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, fine, I'll just rebuffer all the way down to 93. Okay. There's a pot strat here that guarantees some nice hits. Um, the cycles on this are a bit weird. Some of the trampoline hits just do not send you high enough. It's really annoying. I forgot trampoline is like that in this game. Yep. Yeah, jump, more so jump machine. Jump machine's actually even worse. One more cycle after that pause strat would be a dead cycle, so you wouldn't be able to jump up to the next trampoline. Yeah. Uh, strat I'm about to do on swing shaft is very risky to go for in the original Monkey Ball 2 because collision is less consistent in that game, but it works just fine in this game. It also helps that uh, you go slightly faster on the ground in this game. So that, those two things combined to make that strat actually very, very reliable. Oh, that is not... I, that was almost a ridiculous save. That would have been the coolest save of all time. Save. Now we have another lead change, okay. <laughs> lead changes again. Yeah. Okay. Into World 9 we go. Two more worlds left in this run. World 9 is relatively tame compared to 6, 7, and 8, but it is... There's a couple of no difficult tracks. Either. Yeah, it's no slouch, and if you're not paying attention, you will it's die. also really easy to die to just simple stuff. Like Serial Jump. Serial Jump is surprisingly scary. Yep. So <laughs> glad also, we normally, on that. Ugh. Yeah. Normally in story mode runs, you would see people go in the red goal on Serial Jump, because uh, that is actually the faster goal to get to. But it is just not reliable in the slightest in this game, so we take blue goal instead. Yep. It's only I was very to do it slow. in my first playthrough, and I, I just could not figure it out like using the same type of strat it was like so so much harder i got it yeah no, it, it, like, it's, it's weird it's kind of like the goal post but like desynced from the collision like you have to, i swear you have to aim to like miss in order to actually go in the, the red goal oh bit. yeah definitely it's weird also just wasn't used to like the goal post having collision yeah it's it, 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 just it, aiming for the party ball through. being the correct choice is so weird yeah we're gonna destroy our estimate by the way oh yeah <laughs> i mean there's stuff we can go talk about my knowledge yeah. of this game is deep. Ready, the Huge. Oh, thank you, Flat Maze. All right. Remember, Peter, how I you said to you. challenge Helix to a different stage? This is going to be oh. my challenge stage. If I can I'm hit scared. this strat, which it looks no like way. I did, I'm going to play oh, this yeah. safe and buffer all the way down. This what is the only you? one that's really a two-frame You strat. up to. But if I get this right... Uh, I'm gonna. There we go. No way! Nice. It's real. <laughs> it's finally you, you, real. You can you can reel it. You can you can, you can reel it. Reel a team. That's amazing. Reel a team. I can cannot we, believe can we call it that. I ever call you reel a team. <laughs> Getting that frame that is, is difficult insane. because it is first load only, and it is a singular frame that you cannot rebuffer to because of reminder. You need that uh, the neutral inputs work differently. You can skip. You can skip guillotine and potato mania, real and RTA in real TA. Sort of. It's difficult, and like it's worth going for because you can back it up to the normal strat that you saw Helix do, <clears throat> or the relatively normal strat that you saw Helix do. Pretty sure she got at least right, one cycles, cycle skip. Yeah. But like yeah, you can, you can back it up to cycle skips. But it is really cool that you can actually do that if you get the frame right, and wow. you can you can pause it better. I just wanted to play it safe for stream because mm -hmm. I got it. Might as well fully show it off. This is what they were saying when they were talking about modernizing the world record. Yeah, stuff like I'm that. I'm sitting over here becoming older and balder and wrinklier by the second. 
Go back to Plants vs. Zombies, old man. <laughs> okay, I'll. Okay, I'll This is a really, really close race heading into World 10. Yep. One death changes Same. everything on either side. Yes. Like every time. Go! Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, we have to talk during World 10, too. Oh, boy. We make Peter talk. Make it fair. Yeah. Okay. I'm really good at that. I can do that instead. You can talk about Switch first when we get there. You switch towards! Oh, I gotta hurry! We're already on trading. Wait, is anyone doing it on gimmick? No. No. Okay, right I will do it on Gimmick, then. Check it out, Chad. Time. Gimmick's a 40 second level. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a funny, uh, well, I should get into the talk of the glitch in a second, but on this stage in particular, there's a funny instance of this glitch here uh, that does not save any time, really, unless you said really fast, and it's silly and goofy, and I just like it. Anyway, stress that don't save time, that's not what we're about here uh, on this speedrun stream. Uh, coming up. In several stages, we'll play now just to get your, uh, your 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 faces ready. You're excited. Your you know your your expressions of excitement over the craziness that's going to happen later. Um, switch storage is a glitch that was discovered that is exclusive to Banana Mania, not existing in the original versions. It was discovered accidentally by a, a speedrunner Deadline. Shout out Deadline. Shout out to Deadline SMB. Deadline in the chat. Um, yeah, but basically, if you stand on a switch and restart the level at the right time, the game will also trigger the switch in the next load of the level. So certain animations that are switch trigger dependent will be playing the moment you land on the stage. We're like synced now, no yeah. way. Yeah, it's just got even more intense. <laughs> which allows you to skip certain skip certain animated parts of the stage earlier, which we'll see later you. on 10-9 Invisible. Ah, I bungled that. Oh, horribly. okay. I don't fall behind here then. <laughs> Your strat's faster. Like safe and didn't coming out on top. Your strat's harder but faster. Ah, I'm, I'm getting the safe strat. I'm gonna keep going for it. Fair enough. Bungling but yet bangler as well. I have not missed this in practice until Look, there's... now when I'm missing it three times in a row. Well, that's okay, not even like. Right now. It's not even over yet. It's not even close to over. No. Invisible. Invisible still Invisible's... in play. Are you Crazy maze. I don't know. Go in. Alright, fine, I give up. Uh, do yeah, I even know how to maze. play this safe? That's my next question. I can lock in shale on crazy You really do. Okay, that's fine. What did I get for going hey, for the you clip? Did, you did alright. Crazy Maze is actually similar to the original game. It's easier, arguably, but probably the same strat. And I still messed it up anyway, so yeah, the comeback is real. Which is what you did say that it was harder than the original game, right? Yes. Before yes. You, yeah. But like, so the physics. <laughs> yeah, it's actually almost impossible in this game. Yeah, it's like frame perfect and pixel perfect. Yeah, it, it's the Unity engine, yeah. And like, voxel perfect. Pixel and frame perfect. I am struggling with Crazy Maze right now. Also known as Grind a for content. For the record. Grind for content. So real. Nailed it. All right. Feel like I cannot get this. Oh, I should moving practice past this today. maze situation. Saying, no, actually, I find this maze quite sane. I don't find it kind of complicated or or, or, or wild at again. all. Yeah, but invisible. And again, the it's yeah, it's still not over. Story. The lead can swim. And a nice, nice skip, nice Honestly, skippers here from my swim skippers. Last five, stage five, as well six. is also pretty important because I'm going to be going for the boss trap there, which is. Reliable, but still still difficult, still not guaranteed by any means. Though the last two stages especially are where this race will be won and lost. Also, left this, side postmodern, that does not work in the original Monkey Ball. That does game. not work in the original, I was actually just about to say. Banana Mania has a slightly faster acceleration at its peak than the original game, so you, you cannot get the speed needed to bounce up the left side of the postmodern like that. Which is also called more stairs than ball game on Swimfly yep, screen. there's so. the other one. Those are the two alternate choice of names you can you can use when talking about postmodern. There's also a SMB one level called uh, Stairs, okay. and that is just yep, that one. There's really game. one called Stairs. Yeah, they, they were shameless about it. Here's Twitch storage. I'm gonna dog glitch. Dog uh, glitch. Texture setup. Press retry. I did not hear the button press. That means I did not get it. There's a nice little cue as to whether you got it or not based on the sound. If you hear that button press, you did it. Well, I, I mean, I mean, you definitely didn't what? do it too I late anyway. It. I guess I pressed it. That means I pressed it too early. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is surprising because I thought I was. That did there it goes. Be. See, it's moving. See the stage started moving yeah. before, before even pressing the button. Now I still awesome. need to get kind of lucky with some hits here. Hey, okay. good. Play the ending a little. Oh, 
terrifies me every time. I got a first try. Terrifying. Come on. It's so awesome. The reason why this there saves time, by the way, over pressing the button and trying to do a skip like that um, right after pressing the button is it, well, it actually takes a while for the time when I hit animation the button, to finish anyway. And being able to be back at the starting platform gives you extra speed, which makes the strap more reliable. Uh, and time. Damn. Time. GG's. What a race. Oh my what a god. Race. Wow. <laughs> Both entering created by it like the exact same time. Aw. Close till the very end. I'll keep going. This so track's really cool, by the way. Right Learning right. how to skip created by like in the originals was really hard because the shape of these letters is way less forgiving. Aw. Right, you know what I'm going to first yeah, load? This, uh, I think it's easier on this first load. It's finicky. I'll just reset. It, yeah, it, this is slightly different on first load. It is amazing that this came down to the last stage, though. I that was. There we go. One of the best monkey ball races I've ever had a pleasure, <laughs> the pleasure of being part of. That was incredible, Gigi. GG. My heart is racing. <laughs> I can't believe you've been on both of the Banana Mania Story Mode races on the GDQ channel. I just and won both of them. And won both. Yeah, that's <laughs> nuts. 100% on GDQ. <laughs> yeah, 100% on the GDQ stream. Unbelievable. <laughs> this game's free and easy for babies. <laughs> <laughs> Baby game for babies. Um, we're not done with the Banana Mania content, though, because I will be doing a Dark Banana Mode run once I calm down a little bit. Um, so true. Fun fly while you're still on camera and everything. Any shout outs? Anything you want to say? Um, really quickly, I do want to shout out just the community in general. Uh, the Banana Mania speedrunner community is just really awesome. Uh, recently, we had a showcase of all of some of the best of the individual level community. The people who beat just singular stages as fast as possible. Um, shout out to Deadline for putting that together. Look up Unity and SMBBM IL compilation on YouTube if you're interested. It is probably some of the coolest monkey balling you will see in the span of about 20 minutes. There's collision there on Detour? Yeah, there's collision here on Detour. I told you. <laughs> I just know things. Oh, I broke it. What? Did you? I, I, I pressed X. I pressed the uh, the reset button for practice mod, oh, so I broke my okay. game. Oh, well. oh, yeah, you totally broke it. It's fine. I'll go. We were way, way underestimate. I'm going to go show uh, Francisco. Yeah. You go to Dumble Spiral. You know, in the meantime, uh, I'll restart my game quickly. Yeah, there is an invisible wormhole. So if I go forward, you know, you might have noticed the camera jitter a little bit. If I go backwards... Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> that's yep. an invisible wormhole that's just here for no reason that only has one-way collision. It's just, it's just there. Oh, there's more knowledge about this than back when I played. It's a wormhole? Yeah, yeah. it's wormhole shape. <laughs> So, you know, that's interesting. <laughs> it's just hanging out. They thought about maybe putting a wormhole in Double Spiral to, you know, There's up like the ante a little bit. couple other ones. There's one that's a little bit hard to go reach, but I'll try and go get to it. I remember where it is. In story mode. Can you please start your screen share again, please? Oh, sorry. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. In the meantime, I'll, I'll head over to Dark Banana Mode. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I don't remember exactly where this one is, because admittedly, I don't go over there too often. Ugh. That's where it is, definitely. Oh, this one. Yep. Yeah, okay. This game has so many oddities. Like, there's, ugh, this game's so weird. We, we love it for it, and hate it for it, because Unity, but... <laughs> Is that it? No, oh, I missed. Uh -huh. I'm seeing a chat question real quick. Yes. Uh, it says, where do I go to join the Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania speedrunning community? To join the Banana Mania, you Mania speedrunning to... community, you can go to speedrun.com and the Discord link will be there. Yeah, speedrun.com slash smbbm. There's a Discord link. Um, yeah. It's a very pretty active Discord. People are ILing a lot too. Very active IL community, as Swimply alluded to earlier. There we go. Um, Found oh, it. there's the ball. Oh. Oh, wow, that is funny. <laughs> Yeah, pretty active Discord. Always happy to, you know, help you get into this game if you would like. Uh, and that same, that very same Discord will be used for Banana Rumble speedrunning when that game releases on mm -hmm. June 25th. Uh, I'm so excited for that game. All ready to go. We're very excited yeah. for that game, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm ready to play Dark Banana Mode whenever. Yeah. Um, I will wait for a queue. Because I know that we are... Most likely switching to the one player scene for that. Little yeah, I will not be thing. playing Dark Banana. I'll stay on for commentary though. 
This should go pretty quickly. Oh, thank you, Lime. You're posting the, right. the link. I have heard that we can get started. Yeah, so I, this got, is, I got you guys. This is Dark Banana Mode. Um, I should have... Hold on. Don't start the timer yet. I'll give you an actual countdown. <laughs> Ready? But uh, let me just demonstrate something then, in that case, if I'm accidentally including into the stage. Normally, you like bananas. Not this time. Bananas are touching them. Touching them is a game over. Well, let me back out and actually start this run like a normal person. There is one thing okay. that I'll talk about a little bit that's a little bit weird with this mode, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. All right. Three, two, one, go. The first three levels here are nothing too special, uh, but this is one of the most difficult categories in the game, especially due to uh, the eighth level Twin Basin. A special eye out for that one. But yeah, cross floors and antlion are nothing super remarkable. I just need to stay on the top of these platforms, which you pretty much have to do anyway in order to be able to beat this stage. So the dark bananas here are not too much of a concern. I do have a world record in this category, by the way. It's a ridiculous run because it's only 10 stages, so it, it has ended up being quite optimized. It I got the modes in this game. They're so quite cool. optimized so cool. for basically like the hardest casual challenge that they added into the game. Yeah, for anybody who right. doesn't know, they put in five special modes alongside the uh, the original SMB1 and 2 stages in Banana Mania. Uh, they put in reverse mode, which is 10 stages done in opposite order. Um, or not opposite order, in you start where the goal is and you have to go to the starting position. The goal is now at the starting position. Uh, they put in Dark Banana, which you're seeing right now. Golden Banana, which is you to collect everything to complete the stage. Uh, there is no goal, it just ends when you collect the bananas. Nice destruction skip. Awesome, awesome. That's a hard one. There is, yeah, yeah, there, the, there's a, there's some the levels are so hard that you forget that there's also hard levels before you can get to those. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this, one is also, this one's also pretty hard. The other two special modes really quickly are original stage mode, which is the original <laughs> stages. Some of them got nerfed in this game. They just made them a little bit easier, like making the wires thicker and making cycles slower. Other things like that. The original stage mode is just the unmodified versions of those stages from the original games. And then deluxe and mode chaos. is just every, oh, yeah, and also chaos. And then deluxe mm -hmm. mode is every stage from the uh, re repackaging Super Monkey Ball deluxe on the original uh, game engine for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 2. X no, original Xbox and PlayStation 2. Okay, there we go. But there's one more sneaky banana right in front of the goal here. So I gotta Got maneuver around that. Around. There we go. Nice. Yeah, playing that beat in it. And Trip is yeah, after this, yeah. Okay. Okay, so Centro has a IL. weird glitch. Yeah, it does. In Dark Banana mode, if you collect a banana, there is a brief period of time where you can collect a banana and still enter the goal. The individual level for this category abuses that glitch. Shoutouts to Deadline for discovering it and then using it. Um, so there's a chance that when Helix collects a Dark Banana above the goal, if she gets to the goal fast enough, she will still go in anyway, despite having collected that banana. There we go. I think I might have collected. It might have been there. That, yeah. was, that, was, that was definitely... There, there was at least a post-goal collection. Considering there's, there's, yeah. considering there's no collectibles behind the goal on this one... Um, actually, the, most likely. Yeah, yeah it was most right. likely. It was most I think likely. I always assumed it must have been a post-goal because I would have assumed I was dead if I was collecting a banana before I entered the goal, but... What basin? Who would have thought... Oh, the big one! Yep, so here's... Next time. Arguably the hardest stage in the game. At least from a casual point of view. Even from speedrunning, this one's hard. Like, there's, there's setups to make it easier, but it's still hard. And you just first try. And first try. Every time. All right. <laughs> yeah, those bananas are just, just perfectly... Time, I, like, me and Helix were playing this mode together, and I got here first, and I, like, figured out the strat, but I couldn't do it, and then I did it, like, three times, and I kept bonking the goalpost, and then just dying at the very end. I remember Actually, when all like the Monkey Ball speedruns were like first playing Dark Banana mode and just being shocked that it was like taking like us so long to get past the stage. Yeah, <laughs> like this it, is the challenge built into the game. Like Ten minutes if I just <laughs> didn't try and like hit the goalpost. So, those bananas were, are perfectly hugging the line that just like makes sense and is like consistent and reliable for where you would go if you're trying to escape the basin. You have to like loop or you have to, like exit exit the stage for a second and kind of go around the corner in I'm order gonna, to avoid the banana and it's I'm completely absurd. Better. But yeah, this, this is the, the last stage. level. It's like a logo. It's like a logo has some real funky collision. Featuring you know, poison. The whole Sega logo, so gotta be pretty careful, but I survived it. Time's coming up. Time. And that's right, Banana Mode. That actually went pretty well. Great run. Okay. 
I'm happy that I hit and Jason first try. Oh I, yeah. I'm, I, I have started getting really nervous on that stage because I have a track record now of hitting it first try in Marathon. <laughs> You'd hate to break the streak, yeah. Streak <laughs> remains unbroken, don't worry. Just just to brag a bit. <laughs> uh, okay, if you if you enjoyed the Monkey Ball gameplay, you can follow me at twitch.tv slash helix13 underscore. Go follow Swimfly, I swimfly556. Um, helix13 underscore is also my Twitter, also... Uh, also YouTube. my Twitter, uh, I swimfly556, it's all the same. <laughs> Uh, I'm on blue sky helix 13bskysocial because they didn't let me have an underscore because they hate me. Um, <laughs> you wanted the underscore? Wow. Well, yeah, I, look, wow. I want it to be consistent. Wow. You're, you're just an underscore hater, all right? <laughs> um, just wow. <laughs> yeah, if your Peter. name was all lowercase, you, you would you'd get it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> um, even though my name is not all lowercase. <laughs> Shout out to Peter. Thank you for for hopping on Peter. Okay. There's a lot of fun. Oh yes, hello. Yeah, I'm you Peter. Want... You're you're welcome for hopping on the Peter. You're Peter. You're Peter. This was really just a phenomenal race. Thank you so much, Swimfly. Yeah, thank that you. Was that was a lot of fun. GG. Yeah, I'm really happy this went so well. I hope you all um, are enjoying Marble Marathon. I'll be back on as host in a little bit. I'm gonna go take a break and calm down after that ridiculous race. Uh, Watch Unity with the Comp, join the Banana Mania speedrunning community, or I guess the Banana Era speedrunning server, because we also do Banana Blitz HD, which is coming up next. Shout out, Peas. Uh, and Shout out, When that drops. Go. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I need to say. So, trans rights. I'll catch y'all later. Trans rights. Yeah, we're going to be taking a quick break while we get into Banana Blitz HD. And... In that time, in that few minute break, get up, go stretch, drink some water, stay hydrated, all that good stuff, and we'll be back with some Peas SMB playing some Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD for the PC.